Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about the bin validations in Spring Boot. What is the use of it, why we need to do and how to implement for a small uh, small with a small example. Okay, so all these things we are going to discuss as part of today's video. Okay, so let's start with why. First of all, why why I need to do this bin validation? What is mean by bin validation? First of all, okay. So before to that okay let me tell you one thing here so i have a table called airport uh, data uh, table here and i have started my application okay so here i have gone to the swagger okay so you can use the swagger or you can use a postman is up to you if you want to learn how to configure swagger there is a video i have made okay so the video is this guy okay this one and also this one there were two videos i have prepared as part of this playlist called uh, spring boot tutorials playlist you can go and watch okay so uh, basically here what we are doing is we are adding the airport information to that particular table okay so let me show you what is happening so let's say like 989 let's say like uh, information like dubai okay dubai and dubai as a airport okay something like dubai international something like that will take international airport okay location is dubai and i have clicked on execute and the in the query should be executed now you could see i have added dubai international airport okay so let's go to this endpoint and see what is happening here so basically what we are doing is uh, add airport information this one right so we are sending the data here so the one you are seeing uh, this part is actually coming from one pojo okay so this part this is a, a small pojo i have written uh, so from here it is coming and basically and from there i am saving that into a table okay so this is my uh, repository and this is my table okay you could see this right so in your case you might have also have a different table and different repository if you don't have it and how to do all these things please watch my playlist guys here where i have explained all the details okay so here uh, we'll go to the swagger again and we will try to enter the other uh, data as well okay here what i will do is i don't pass any airport name and i'll try to execute this then what will happen airport name is empty but it is going and saving in the table right which is wrong because airport should have a name and airport city if if i execute again this with airport uh, city as empty and then this is going and execute this is going and saving as part of db you could see here this is going and saving as part of db but ideally airport should have an airport name and airport should have the airport city in my case i am i am staying in hyderabad so airport city will become hyderabad and rajiv gandhi international airport i believe no no samshabad uh, airport so that will become my airport name okay so every airport should have the name every airport should have the city okay but as part of the request how do i know basically how do i know whether i am passing this or not okay so one thing is i can get this request and i can do this if else conditions like if um, uh, airport name is empty or not or it is not blank or not those sort of things i can do or else what we can do is spring boot is providing the bean validations in this case this is my pojo or the bean okay so on top of this bean by giving certain annotations spring boot itself will take care of these sort of validations and if something is missing then spring boot will tell you like 
this is not going to be inserted because of this sort of an error okay so that is a purpose of bean validations okay so that is a purpose of why okay then how do i execute for a sample project what are the rules and regulations how do i get started that we'll see right so in order to do that you need to first have the uh, first have the dependency right so this is a starter uh, validation guys you could see spring boot starter validation so basically if you give this spring boot itself will download all the libraries associated with this based on the spring boot version of your project because we are not mentioning any version right so now let's go to the palm.xml here let's go to the palm.xml uh, as we have it here so this is my case and let me keep it here and save this now you could see this uh, library should be downloaded okay then how we can get start those part of details we'll see okay so let me show you with other example ones then let me come back to this so i have a uh repo where is the repo okay this is a small repo i have okay where i am saving the entity directly into this table okay this is a table right entity okay so whatever the data i am sending i am sending into the table and don't get confused here rest uh, resource repository rest annotations these are basically on top of this method itself spring boot is generating the crud repositories okay by itself okay how with the help of the data jpa rest that is also a big video i have prepared okay this is a one data rest okay that you can watch it or else the normal one as well that also we will discuss okay so now what i did i have completed the added adding into the palm right now go here in my case airport name should not be null and should not be blank so what i will do is not blank so there were certain annotations guys that we need to follow here in this case if i want to make sure that it is not going to take empty values not going to be blank then i will take this fellow okay not blank annotation okay here message is equal to airport name should not be blank okay not blank you can get it from java x right so basically what is the use of this message in case you have passed airport name as a blank then spring boot will automatically throw an error with a message called airport name should not be blank so that i will come to know at which field this issue is coming that we will see okay then there is a one more i'll try to use something called size of minimum is equal to two characters okay i can use the location also as a not blank or not empty but i just want to try it out few things so that i can explain to you guys properly okay so here i am saying like it should have the minimum size of two characters okay maximum could be anything i will comma you can mention max as well okay so that is also fine no issues so these two i have passed then here you need to give at the rate valid in order to validate okay this valid is again coming from java x right so now let me run this project one more time and show you the result now it slowly started running guys so it is trying to download the library that we have added in a pom then it will start uh, uh, the console okay now you could see it is starting the console here good 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 then let me go to the swagger here and refresh it so basically 
where I am here I am this one okay so this is my end point this end point what I am passing is first let's pass a valid data then we will see the invalid one okay so valid data is airport name should not be blank should not be empty that is a valid data okay so let's say like um, let's say like Varangal Varangal airport city as Varangal let me execute this now it got executed and let me refresh it now you could see we got the data properly because we have not uh, went with the extreme scenarios here okay now let me try to pass my airport name as blank and execute now now you could see we got a 500 okay and is the record inserted no in record is not inserted now let's go to the console and see the log now you could see there is something failed here so what is the exception it is showing it will draw an exception called method argument uh, exception okay something related to that let's see yeah so here validation failed right so you could see here constant violation exception okay this is the exception it is showing consent uh, constraint violation exception with further airport entity okay and what is a message airport name should not be blank that is a message it is showing okay so it is not getting inserted this exception you can handle it separately with the help of rest controller advice that i will prepare a separate video okay now you understood about the airport name now let's give the actual one angle now let's test with the cd so let me give w so in my case i have given what i have given airport entity i have given as two minimum characters let me pass one and see what will happen now again it got failed right now let me pass wa what will happen this should be passed now okay so if i execute minimum of two characters it is taking right so this is how we need to do the bean validations guys and if you observe one thing here i have prepared on top of my entity all the bean validations i have prepared on top of entity this is fine this is no issue with that but sometimes while we are exposing an api we don't pass entity as a request request body we don't pass the entity as a pojo right in as part of request body but we will pass a dto object which is on top of the entity so that entities were not exposed right so this case as well as part of this dto as well you can do this that is why i have prepared that first then i am going to explain this because a put name should not be you should not be confused like this is only applicable at entity level no this can be applicable at all the all the pojo levels these are all pojos at the end of the day this is nothing but at the weight getters and setters are there fields were there so this is a pojo right this is also i have the address setters and getters and with the help of lambak i have headers and setters getters and setters right so i have this pojo right so i am applying this and let's see where we are actually using this dto object so open call type not type i think i did mistake here call havaki okay open call havaki go here airport dto add airport data so i am using it add airport information airport dto here let me keep at the weight valid so i am saying it to validate so this is a one uh, one entry we got search option so if we don't give that valid 
then it won't even validate okay that also we will see okay slowly we will see let's we run this application one more time terminating the process in the background and we running this now you could see i have started executing yeah it started it should start now now what is my end point where is that so this should be my end point right add a port in four is should be my end point okay so not here not here so add a port in four okay so on top of a port name i have added the a port name condition right so let me pass something like this and it should be failed now okay now you could see it got failed why because of same constraint validation exception should come now you could see constraint validation exception even though i am not i mean uh, not even though here so it can be applicable for both as a entity as well as normal pojos that is a point i'm trying to make okay so i have added those uh, uh here these annotations i have added but if i don't give it the weight valid what will happen so i am not going to give this valid now let me rerun this application and see what is going to happen whether the validations are going to still happen or uh, it will not go to the validations it will directly go and save that things we will see now okay now you could see it started executing and i hope you guys are following here if you have any doubt do let me know so I have this add airport information. Try it out. Something like 995. My airport name is blank. Airport city is let's give something here. I given validation on airport name field. So ideally, you could see here. It got failed again because of that that name, right? So this is how it happens. And is there any way to, you know, omit that? That we will discuss. Okay, I need to do a little bit of research on top of that. Then we will discuss. I hope this is uh, given some sort of an explanation for you guys. If you have any doubt, do let me know in a comment section. And and there is another video I'll try to prepare on top of this with another set of validations. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's me Karthik Sen.